Hey everyone, Matt Jarbo here at Three Buck Theater, and I just got done watching Thor Love and Thunder, man, and this movie, woof. Uh, if you are a, a Thor fan, you will like the movie. If you are not a Thor fan, or I should say at least a Thor Ragnarok fan, you will probably not be too swayed on this movie, even though it almost brought my ass to tears like twice. So here are my spoiler-free reactions to it. Um, the story is is pretty good, right? It's it once it gets going, it's actually really good, and that of course has a lot to do with when they really start kind of going after Gore the God Butcher, and um, they you know once they I I don't want to say where they go to, but um, you see Zeus in the trailer. Once they go to meet Zeus, that's when I think the movie really kind of hits its stride. Um, the opening of the movie with uh, learning about Gore the God Butcher, why he became how he became, what's really good. Christian Bale knocked it out of the park. Natalie Portman knocked it out of the park. Tessa Thompson was great as usual. Uh, not my favorite character in the movie. I thought they really uh, did a lot with her, but it was, uh, I would like to see more, like just kind of more with her in general. Chris Hemsworth as Thor, man. This was this was definitely a movie where he got that emotional catharsis that he needed, and um, and I've been saying this for a while now. If you go back and you look at like the Thor movies, uh, you know, like Tony Stark is like the uh, Tony Stark is like what the brain of the uh, the MCU. Captain America is like the heart of the MCU. I would think that Thor is kind of like the soul of the MCU to an extent because a lot of his uh, story, especially from you know Ragnarok, Infinity War, and Endgame. I felt was an excellent Thor trilogy, at least with character development, giving us uh, this, the tragic story of Thor, him losing everybody. And this movie dealt a lot with that. It continued on those storylines and it absolutely gave him um, it, it gave him something that he was looking for. And I think we as the audience was looking for, and I say that a lot of that is like not only catharsis, but also hope. I think hope was a big thing that came off this movie, especially in the end. Um, I really, really liked it. I thought that it, the, the ending was great. Like I said, it made me tear up. I text my girlfriend immediately afterward and I was like, can you give the girls a hug? I just wanted to go hold my children. That's how this movie made me feel. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to watching it again. It's a bit uneven in the first half of the film. It really is. It's a bit uneven on that front. But uh, once it picks up, it gets going. It's really well. And you like the characters and you like where things are going with it. So again, this movie is probably going to blow up pretty well. Definitely stay through the end credits. I actually kind of let out a lot, a loud guffaw, like a ha 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 at the very end. I was very, I was, I was stupidly excited for it, but I'm curious your thoughts, what you thought of the movie. I'll be doing a full review of it later on. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts on it. Like I said, it won't be for everybody, but, um, I think most people out there will definitely, uh, definitely like it. The general audience will definitely love it. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day. Thanks again for watching. If you want more of these out of theater reactions, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll see everyone on the flip side. Peace out.